Under Armour drama today involving the company culture. Wall Street Journal reporting last night that Under Armour told employees in an email back in February that it was going to stop reimbursing expenses for strip clubs. Employees were attending them with athletes and, and co-workers, and the company paid. The journal also laid out some other examples of male executives behaving inappropriately with younger female employees. In a statement, the company says, quote, we have addressed these serious allegations of the past and will continue to address workplace behavior that violates our policies. Inappropriate behavior that challenges our values or violates our policies is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. We are committed to providing a respectful and inclusive workplace. Look, this comes at a tough time for Under Armour. The company was just starting to prove to Wall Street that it's maturing. It's focusing on profitability, not growth at all costs, that it's undergoing a cultural transformation, hiring key operators like Patrick Frist to right-size the business and impose discipline. That's been the story on Wall Street. So it is a bad look, and everybody's wondering, what took so long? This is 2018. But there are two important takeaways for investors here. Number one, Kevin Plank, founder and CEO. The company's stressing to me that the founder here is not implicated in this article, and he did not use company funds at a strip club. So investors shouldn't have to worry about his leadership. Number two, if you look at Nike as a template, remember, kind of went through some of this last year, facing cultural problems, accusations of unfriendly environment toward women. That led to the departure of more than 10 executives. Didn't impact the stock or the business. Nike actually had a record high shortly after. So Wall Street has viewed some of these moments of reckoning as PR crises. Under Armour stressing to me that this is all in the past. No executives are impacted by this. But you can bet there's a lot of soul searching going on for what Plank told employees, guys, in a memo last night was a tough article to read in the journal. You know, it's unclear. Just it's, It seems crazy that in 2018 a company would allow you to expense strip club visits. I don't know. I mean, you look at the, the show Ballers on HBO. We reached out to Nike and Adidas and, and asked, do you guys have this policy as well? When did you strap? We, have, we haven't heard that from them on that. But clearly, companies in all industries need to take a close look and make sure they are creating a friendly environment, especially when you're in Under Armour and 49% of your workplace is female. Yeah. Although we should point out the original memo goes back to February. February. And went unreported this whole time. Correct. All year. Essential. Yeah. Journal, journal dug it up. Uh, the new CFO was, was looking at all sorts of expense policies. And again, in trying to change the culture at this company, what happened, though, it brought to light some issues with prior executives and sort of bad behavior with the company. And that's what's being talked about today and, and clearly impacting the stock. You know, negative yep. headlines, PR risk. Yep. It's had a nice run here uh, last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's uh, up 100% in the last amazing. 12 months.